We're jumping right into our brunch summertime look. I love this look and I just show you how I simply prep my skin before my makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be using the Ever Skin Pads. Again, I find that these are very easy. I can exfoliate my skin. I don't have to rewash my skin. I don't have to worry about having lots of granulars on my skin and not getting them off. So I use this pad for texture, for the redness of my skin. It really evens out the tone. I've seen my skin get brighter. I have a little blemish, so that's gonna be fun to cover up today with a little concealer, maybe a little color corrector. You can see a little flushness on my skin from using the Ever Skin Pads. I love that. Not too much, not too little. I know that it is working. I can feel my skin being activated by the pads. I'm going in with the Skin Perfecting Serum, something I need today. For some reason, I had a little blemish that came up. This is a new serum forever that came out and it is really nice. It's very nice and uh, thin on the skin. Feels like a cucumber, like I said last week. Mmm, just so refreshing. And I put mine in the refrigerator now. I did say that was a tip last week, and I have been doing that, and it feels so cool, so refreshing on the skin, especially during summer. I am taking Bye Bye Under Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. This is a really nice one that I like using underneath my eye area. When I feel like I want to get some moisture into the eye area prior but this is not going to sit on my skin that's one of my pet peeves when it comes to eye cream that it just sits it doesn't absorb then it starts to mix in with your concealer and then it starts pilling rolling balling up down the face it's not the look that i'm ever going for so i always pick out eye creams i'm very very particular about eye creams they have to be more of a hydro gel they have to be well absorbed quickly into the skin i don't like heaviness i don't like to feel greasy and hot underneath the eye area so i want it to work and I want it to be able to really easily mix well with my makeup, and that's why I find certain ones that I feature on my channel that do just that. I just like to finish off my skin with the Quarterly. This is the Beauty Elixir. It's a smoothing, glowing complexion, has a lot of hydration to it. It has the aromatherapy. It just feels so fresh on the skin. Again, you can put this in the refrigerator, something that I like to do. I miss my skin throughout the day. These are really great summertime tips if you're feeling that your skin is looking dehydrated or it's looking flushed or you need some, just some reviving to your skin. I throw that into my purse. I put that on my face when I'm in the car. Where it just lifts my mood. It's really beautiful. And now we're going to go into doing the makeup. I'm gonna take Fiercely Smooth in clear just to prime my skin first. And you can use this in your T-zone area or you can use it over your whole face, depends on what you want to do. This is going to give you a matte finish, fill in all the pores, all the fine lines and wrinkles. It's gonna blur the skin. Now that we have gone on with the Fiercely Smooth, getting our skin ready for the BB cream coming up and the concealers, I'm gonna use my eye and lip primer for prepping my eye before I do anything. So this is going to really take away any of the discoloration. It's silky smooth. You put on a very thin layer. If you're putting on too much, it's going to be moving all over your eye. You just need to tap twice into the pot, then go to the eye, base of the lashes, all the way up to the brow bone, nice and thin. You can see how I did that. So I have a primed eye and this eye is not primed. I have darkness, I have some redness, I have some discoloration. I want my eyeshadow to stay all day and be true, and that's how I get this to be done. I really love that I can prime my eyes and then I put on the eyeshadow and it looks like the color in the pot. So I have showed you this in my concealer video that I will link above here that you can take a little of the eye primer and go underneath the eye. You're priming underneath the eye area for whatever you're going to put on to stay all day. It's just really gonna give it a nice base. So I've done that too sometimes where I need to prime the under eye depending on what my skin's doing. Sometimes I'll even take this on a blemish first to kinda give a lift to it before I maybe take a color corrector like my No Redness, cause this is red, but I like to just disguise it a little bit with anything I have left over, but you can see I'm changing the color, I'm prepping my eye area right in this area, 
right in this area here. I'm going to be taking Strong Brew, and I love this palette because it's all matte. It's one of our staples, and this is in the cocoa family. So you have these beautiful browns. It's not going to be too dark. It's not too light. It is a universally, universally flattering eyeshadow palette and I, I like the name of it because we are strong women and I like to brew my coffee very strong <laughs> and um, that's really the thought and the intention behind this palette so I'm going to just take the middle color here and I'm going to go over my entire eye from the base all the way up to just the crease here and this is a beautiful brunch look Saturday brunch Sunday brunch look it's going to make you feel polished, put together, sophisticated, not too much product, not too much shadow, nothing that's going to be, if you're not into sheens, this is a great palette for you. You can also, if you want to go into more cooler colors, you can do rewrite the rules. That's going to be more in the gray family, but you can see how pretty this is going on. Soft and silky, that's why you want to have a primer on your lid first because I don't want this color, this beautiful taupe color, mixing in with redness, darkness, veins. I want it to be going on like I see here in the palette. So that is why I always am prepping my eyes. When I do makeup on location, I'm always prepping. It makes a huge difference. It's almost like I cannot wait to prep my client's eyes so I can really see that eyeshadow come through, look beautiful, even with this first color. I'm taking the darkest color here with my smudge brush. This is my eraser brush, but it's a dense bristled brush. So I'm taking it to the end of the eye here. And also ladies, this is different than most YouTube channels. I apply makeup. If it doesn't look perfect, just like this, that is okay. We are working towards our goal of just having a very beautiful wash of color on the eyes. My channel is for more mature women. Girls that are in teenagers in 20s and 30s don't do makeup like we do because our eyes are different. We have different texture of our skin. We see things that are changing and we can't layer on as much product as we possibly used to. I'm gonna just take the eyeshadow brush here and I'm going to just sweep it across so it blends nicely together so you don't see any real demarcation of the darker giving that contour right underneath here like you do a little windshield wiper motion so that's really important to to know because when you first start putting makeup on and you're you're using darker colors or something like this nice beautiful dark chocolate you don't want to feel like oh no i'm putting on too much blend it blend it out it's fine you don't have to worry but if you are following uh younger channels and they're doing a lot of crease cuts and they're doing a lot of lot of makeup and six colors on their eyes i mean that's great if you can do that that's amazing but for the most part women of age are not doing makeup like that it does it doesn't look like it should when we were you know when we used to wear makeup like that you know 20 years ago or so so this is really the idea is to add the color blend the color so you do have two different colors going on you get that nice beautiful definition right underneath here in this brow bone area as you can see right in there and then if you're like, oh no, it's all over, that's fine. You take your eyeshadow brush, you go in and you smooth everything out. And that's the beauty of working with really silky eyeshadows that really do glide. They do what you want them to do. They don't skip around. They're not, they're not going to be difficult to work with. And that's why I really like being able to give a little definition right? That's what you want. A little definition. You want it to look pretty. You want it to look nice. You want it to look like you know what you're doing. And that's a very, it's very easy to do that when you have just three shadows. I'm going to go in the lightest color here, same eyeshadow brush, just making sure nothing is on the brush. And I'm going to just tap in and go right underneath my brow bone. Again, I want this to be where it doesn't stop and start. I don't want to see the taupe and then the dark brown and then the lighter bone color. I want them all to be beautifully mixed together just like this. Now that my eyeshadow is on, very simple, very, very pretty soft, I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes and prepare them for my eyeliner. One of my favorite eyeliners to use is my cream eyeliner. It has a little brush at the end. This is beautiful, very easy to use. You might get a little intimidated thinking, oh no, it's cream, it's gonna be everywhere. Not with a little brush, you just pick up a little bit. I'm gonna be using the dark brown and this will look beautiful with the strong brew. This is going to be 
where you really define your eyes, ladies. This is one of my one of my best techniques is going just straight to the lash line. So you're going to just go right into the lash line and you're going to apply the cream. And what's really nice is that if you don't pick up too much product, it's going to lay beautifully on the lid. So I just go back and forth with the brush. You'll see there's a bunch of product, you might not be able to see, but there's a bunch of product that first gets picked up. I just tap it either side, like say this was the paper towel. I just tap it so it's not too much. There's not too much going on. It will go right to my eye and I will just start placing it at the base and dragging it down. Again, another tip, if your eyes come down, if they droop down, don't go, don't follow the line all the way down. Stop shorter. So you're lifting the eye. You don't want to, you don't want the eye. If I'm looking at you, you don't want, I don't want to look and see your eyeliner coming all the way down. Stop short. So it's going to lift the eye up. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going and just applying this. So I have a beautiful definition to my eyes. You can see that it's really, really at the base. So it's defining my actual eye. It's not looking heavy. It's not going up higher. So this is how I do it for women of age. So it looks really, really beautiful. Another really nice trick that I like to do is I'll take my eraser brush, which is just the, the short little smudge brush, and I will take it and drag it across the top so I can diffuse the actual line. It looks really soft. It looks really nice. It doesn't look too definitive where it's too stark, too much. Also, you can go into different colors of the cream shadow or the cream eyeliner if you want to. We have an ash brown, we have a medium brown. I'm using the dark brown. You know, I like that. And we do also have black. So I'll just take it across. You can see how it just nicely smooths out. It's kind of, if you feel like you've gotten too high or it's all skipped around, just take the eraser brush, which, you know, that's just my little lingo for it. It's really a smudge brush, it's a dense, blending brush really but i just take it across the line i love that look i just like how it's just soft and it's not like here's my eyeliner everybody no it's nice and soft smudge it across you will cover up any mistakes that you make when you are applying the eyeliner i can take what's left and put it just underneath the eye here another really nice trick is i can take the smudge brush go into the dark chocolate which is the darkest color here and just sweep underneath to give a little bit of that softness. So it's just not the eyeliner. I'm taking the shadow and I'm basically being able to go underneath and just soften that up. So you get a little sexier look like that. Um, but that's really a really pretty way to add a little dimension. So my eyeliner is on. My next step is going to be my mascara. I'm going to just take black mascara. This is a curling and volumizing mascara and it is going to be, I'm going to be able to get to the base of the lashes because of this brush. So it has little teeth on it. So I'm going to the base and I'm lifting straight up. Again, I use a lash serum because I love my lashes being fueled with growth. And you can see that they're really beautiful and long. And I get that beautiful fringe. So I'm going to the base, wiggle. So I'm basically front loading and I'm going straight up. So I'm getting the max mascara on my lashes without them looking clumpy. So I put on my jacket because I'm getting closer to adding some color, my cheeks, my lips, and I'm gonna do my brows first, but this is my brunch look. This is my summer brunch look. I love the blue, I love the white linen jacket. So I'm gonna take my taupe brow pencil, skinny brow pencil, and I'm going to just give structure to my brows. So I'm gonna go in, make those strokes. I always just do little hair strokes like this so it does still look natural, not too heavy. And then I'll go in with little color because I have a couple I have a couple gray hairs that I like to cover up with my brow fix and so we'll do that next. Brows are done and I'm going to put on a little vitamin E lip because I'm getting it ready for my lipstick. I want my lips hydrated. I want that lip liner going on beautifully. So I do a little vitamin E lip treatment. Mm, always feels so good. And now what we need to do is we have everything on except for skin. So I need to color correct first. So I see a little redness. I have that beautiful 
I love to call them by a name. Usually it's Francois is my blemishes, but he's not too bad. I had a little primer as you saw me put on. I'm gonna do a little just peachy right underneath my eyes here. I do want to, I'm gonna do something a little special today, ladies. I'm gonna take the just peachy under I'm just gonna take a little no redness on that, you know, these two spots that I just can't get rid of. I don't know what is going on. I have tried so many different things and they don't want to budge. They wanna be there forever. So this is a little mosaic. This is basically how I color correct my skin because I want that to be lifted. I want it to be corrected. I don't want to take on a foundation or a BB cream over redness. I want to color correct, minimize as much as I can before I put on my foundation, my CC cream, my BB cream, whatever I'm, I'm using. So this is a great way to, you have to have a certain technique. You don't want to be taking a brush and sweeping everything off your face. You want to be pressing into the eye area where you have put your color corrector. You want to really be precise with this. This is really important because you don't want to just put it on and then keep moving it across the face. You want to press it into the skin. You're very deliberate because that's where I have this issue. I have this redness. I have this darkness. That's why I put the Just Peachy. I need that peach color to lift the darkness, the blues, the grays that I have underneath my eye. So I want this to stay right here. You can use a beauty blender. I'm using the Ever Little Eye Sponges. And I'm, this is not wet. I don't wanna shear it out. So if you want to have a sheerer coverage, wet them. These, this is what the beauty blender looks like. If you want it to be more sheer, whatever you're putting on your face, make sure that this is wet. If not, you're going to get more of a concentrated application of what you put on your skin. Now I'm gonna be doing a little BB cream in Fair. This is really nice because I'm gonna be adding Poolside. It's a highlighter. So this is a liquid highlighter, and this is how I'm gonna warm up my Fair BB cream. Fair is a little cool for my skin. Um, that's all right. I can always add, if I had it too dark, sometimes if I had the light medium or if I had the light and I felt like it was too warm for my skin, I can just take a little SPF La Roche Posay that I love because it's a serum and add that in because it's a mineral so it's white it's going to lighten up my BB cream so there's a lot of different options you can do to be able to create the right color for yourself if you feel like you got the wrong color I'm just taking poolside because of course you know I want to be nice and bronzy for the summer I want that glow I want that beautiful look to my skin so I'm going to mix the two together it's going to give me a really really nice kind of beautiful skin tone i always love doing this so you can do it with the facelift if you want to and just a little bit ladies or the rose please if you're wanting something that's going to be more on a peachier prettier pink level or poolside is going to be more of your bronzer taking my foundation buffing brush and i'm going to go into my skin and i'm going to buff it into my skin now this is going to look really hydrated this is going to look not dewy it's going to give a nice healthy vibrancy to your skin you can see that so also i'm not going over where i put my just peachy and my no redness so i can go over the top pressing in but i'm not going to be swirling it around so i would press in over with the bb cream and then i can really buff it into the skin and the other areas so this is a beautiful look it's very just simple, it's not over the top. I mean, this eyeshadow is such a staple for your makeup bag because you can't go wrong with matte cocoa colors, you just can't. So now I'm gonna be going into a little blush. I'm gonna go into Beach Bungalow. This is a really nice palette of two blushes. You have a, a really nice peachy one with a little bit of sheen, and then you have a pink that's going to be more matte and then you have a highlighter which is really nice so if you wanted to highlight your cheekbones you want to do a little highlight on your lids you can do that but I'm going to just take the middle color the really pretty peachy color and I'm going to it's going to really look nice with my Santorini lips so just smile buff this back 
So you can see how it's giving that beautiful sheen to the to the cheek, but not heavy. It's not, it's like blending really nicely into giving you that golden kind of peachy look to the skin. Now I'm going from the apples of my cheeks back. You don't have to come down so low. If you feel that your skin is coming down a little bit in this front part, you want to maybe start back a little bit and pull it back up. So you, you really have to look at your face shape, what's going on with your cheeks, where you wanna place it. I went a little bit lower than I normally do, but if you really wanna lift, you're gonna start more back and then bring it back to the hairline and always blending out. You don't want to, you can always take a powder brush, you don't want to have a streak. And if you feel like you have too much, you can just take a powder brush and go back over your blush that you just applied. Or you can take like our Nikita Banana color corrector and you can just take a little of the powder, triple milled light. It's not going to add a lot of weight. You're not going to be seeing layers and just kind of give it a softness. You can also set your T-zone, which is what I like to do, especially during the summer. Always brightening my face, definitely underneath the eyes, just like this. It's a really, really great way to keep brightening the skin, but also setting your products. Now we're on to the lips, my favorite part. We're gonna be using Poppy, which is a nice coral color lip liner. And I'm going to just line my lips So I like to add the lip liner to my whole lip so I don't ever have just a line around my lips if my lipstick starts to fade or I'm drinking or I'm eating. I don't like that look. So I always bring down the lip liner. It's a really great tip. Going in with Santorini, this is going to be a bright, beautiful salmon coral. So you have this beautiful Santorini bright, coral color. You can always add defiance over it if you wanted a little more gloss, if you will. But I just think blues, a white linen jacket, this beautiful color of this pop of coral just really pulls it all together. You're wearing a very neutral eye. It's a matte, it's like a staple in your makeup bag because it's not going to compete with anything. So everything I put on my face, I'm not competing with. I'm going to do a little defiance here. But I love a blue little top, a, a, a nice linen jacket that's white. I, I put your hair back. Granted, I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial right after this, and I forgot my jewelry at home, so I don't have my jewelry that I wanted to kind of just dress up the look a little bit more. But um, this is just a really pretty staple look you can use for brunch, or you can go use it for a lunch this summer. I want you to feel really comfortable, and I want you to feel comfortable wearing a color on your lip might not be red, it might not be berries, it's a coral. It's gonna look beautiful and it's gonna make you feel so summery and it's going to really lift your moods. Anytime you put on a beautiful, brighter color, totally changes your mood. So I hope you enjoyed that makeup tutorial and until my next video, I'll see you later.